Alright, hey there guys, Frank Medic here and this is DOS. Today we are going to actually be looking at a game that I had and played a lot as a child. This version here is in fact the version I had as a kid. It is a shareware program. After this video, we will be moving on to the real version, the full version, because it has the same stuff that this one does and more. So there's really no reason to play this one, aside from this introduction, which is not in the full version for reasons I don't fully understand. The only part of the intro that's in it is this. But this is Corncob 3D. A name that I also don't fully understand. It is a flight sim in an alternate history Earth. And it's actually pretty cool for how old it is. Before we start, I want to show you guys the story so far. Because it is something. Here it is. It's all text. I'm not going to read it for you. You can do that yourself. I'll give you a couple of minutes to uh, pause it. By minutes, I mean seconds. That should probably be enough time. Hitler died by getting hit in the head by a thrown beer bottle in this version of history. And before we go on, let's, I'm going to scroll through the enemy structures section. So you can see what we'll be up against. Things like force fields, things that get in the way, the balloons and bees worms, AAA batteries, which are exactly what you expect them to be if you've played a flight sim before. The KLA's death balls are basically homing missiles, but they're kind of stupid. Generator orbs make force fields. They are pretty beefy, as it says here. These TRFRUs are things that just get in the way, essentially, but you can blow them up. Mortars. Mind benders are crazy. When we see when we get near one, you'll see what I mean by that. It's a they have a very obvious effect. There are little aliens. When you shoot them, they float away. Which I assume was a bug that decided to just roll with. For ground vehicles, we got this line, ground vehicles are notoriously stupid. Uh they are. All ground vehicles in this game, the enemy ones and your friendly rescue van, just try to drive straight to you. If there is something dangerous in the way, they will just crash right into it and die. Flying saucers. And portals. So, because all the uh, main combat stuff is in the full version as well as this one, I'm just going to go into a training mission so I can show you guys what this game looks like and some kind of interesting things for a game of its age. Make myself vulnerable. And let's go. Alright, you're going to notice a bit of a black bar under our rearview mirror there. The window for this changes sizes. And my software does not allow me to change size while I'm recording. So, I just have a black background in the background. Please do not mind the man in the, behind the black. So, we have a lot of controls. Here they are! I'm pretty sure there's at least one or two that it didn't actually, uh... Doesn't actually tell you? We can figure that out later, though. Our damage system, our various indicator lights, pitch gauge, altimeter, all this other crap. This is the last Alice Rain. Alright, so as I mentioned, in a move that you can't really do in a lot of modern flight sims, we can get out. We 
Woo. Uh, what are my walking controls? <laughs> it's been a while. Even zero and five. Uh, since I don't have a keypad, this may have been a mistake. But we have a gun. We can shoot. We can also jump. Woo! Jump pretty dang high, actually. Oh, landed back in my plane. All right. I will figure out a way to deal with not being able to walk later. Let's take off. So this is a very early 3D game. Pretty simple. But it works pretty well. There should be sound effects, but I'm not hearing them. So we got our cannon. Let's so see what happened with the sound effects in the real videos. But for now, just to show this off, this is okay. There's our UFO. We can shoot it with bullets. We have... oh geez, I am getting wrecked. We have effectively unlimited missiles. Also three bombs. Alright, we hit it pretty good, but didn't kill it. We're stalling. That ain't that ain't ideal. I think we might be going down. I'm gonna jump. Ah. And I got hit by an AA shell. So that went pretty bad. Oh yeah, I didn't go into the setup. That's probably why we're not getting sound. Oh well. Let's go back into that again. Let's make the plane invulnerable this time, so we can take a bit of a better look around. And I think getting out of the plane messed up the sounds. Okay. But as you can see now, where our damage indicators were, down here, is now just a gray square. In the actual, real scenarios, planes are a limited resource, so getting shot down like that would actually be a bit of a problem. Also, we can drop bombs. Whee. They make a pretty good explosion. <laughs> Yeah, we can shoot these things. Most things in this game actually take a surprising amount of punishment to down. So if you're expecting to see anything good out of this, uh, I'm gonna dash your hopes of that right now. All right, I just, you know, rammed right through the uh, UFO. The plane ain't really responding so well. There we go. Okay. There we go. Pick that back up. Uh, crashing into the UFO would severely damage your plane normally, but would not instantly cause you to explode. Also, you may have noticed, the bomb I used came back. They do regenerate. I think I 
might need to up the cycles a little bit. So here are some force fields. Inside that force field house would be our uh, generator, which is what's making the screen go kind of wobbly here. Let's get on in there and take a look at that, shall we? So this is a rather arcadey kind of flight sim. You don't gotta worry about ripping the wings off your plane or anything. You will black out, though. Alright, I'm not 100% certain if I crashed into that or if I hit it with a bomb, but it's blown up now. Pretty sure I hit it, because I don't seem to have very good control over myself at the moment. Oop. Also, we hit the ground, I think. Which, doing so upside down would definitely have been instant death. Oh, look, there's one of the uh, enemy cars. The black things are fuel sites. They explode rather impressively. The white thing that just blew up from my bomb is the uh, one of the AA gun AAA guns. I am playing this with a keyboard and honestly it actually works pretty well. The little flashing things that are rather persistently following me around are uh, the death balls. Yeah, I think this definitely could use a little bit of a cycle bump for the next time. Ah, that one got me. The death balls are fairly easy to uh, trick if you don't have like 80 of them coming up on you. I mean, really, if anything, the controls for the uh, keyboard are a little oversensitive. But yeah. In game normally if you push F2 you would get information about available missions and you can actually just choose to teleport right to them which is cool. But since this is a training mission it's just straight out north. Yeah, that one got me too. I think the blue ones are the smart bombs, and the brown ones are the dumb ones. That glowing wreckage is the uh, shield generator I plowed my plane into. If you can get them in your sights, you can shoot down the death balls. Ooh. They're a little tricky to actually hit, but there we go. I shot down that one that was in the distance. Anyways, I'm going to jump out of my plane, just just because. You gotta hit the space bar to, uh... Get your parachute out. And I killed this, uh, alien car. Is there any way for me to go forward? without a keypad.
It's like E is making me go forward extremely slowly. Is there any way for me to go faster than that? If I jump. Nope, I used all my bullets. Oop, oh, here comes this thing. If I weren't invulnerable, this would have captured me. <clears throat> My view is spinning because I have a tractor beam. There are many goofy sort of scenes that we will probably see a bit more of when I actually start playing. Yeah. Since this is still a little on the short side, I think I will very quickly do one mission. Just to show you what the uh proper flow of things will look like. Let's see. The name like that, you know it's not an alien infiltrator. Alright. So we got two planes, four mission objectives. I will do the uh, first one, which is this right up here. We damage some of their force fields, so we gotta blow up their force field generator. Let's just teleport on over there. Whoop, here we are. No anti aircraft or anything here. There are some, uh. of the homing missiles, but they're the very slow and not super smart ones. That purple thing over there is one of the barrage balloons. It is completely harmless as long as you don't actively crash into it. The uh, wireframe triangles around that shield generator or the TRFRUs, they don't really do anything aside from be something you have to worry about crashing into. It almost blacked out completely, that was cool. Alright, there we go, got it. Down here is the fuel dump they were talking about. Let's see if we can drop a bomb on it. Oh, I think I got it. Yeah, I did. Nice. So, out of that, we could either fly around and look for another mission. I think you might be able to teleport to another mission if you want to. But I'm going to head for home and see if I can land and show you why I will probably not be doing actual landings. Let's see if I can juke this thing this time. Yeah, there we go. Get out of here. 
landing in this game is a little on the tricky side, especially using the keyboard. Uh, speaking of which, what's the break? Left shift. No. I don't know what the break is. I guess we'll find out. Oh, is that stick in the distance? Is our airfield. Let's see if we can land at it. Coming in hot. Well, I ejected for no real reason. Here's another plane. So yeah, here we are at the base. Yep, he pauses it. I think our plane stopped over there at the wrong way. Maybe? Or maybe it's just gone off into eternity. Who knows? I've somehow made things a little green. Keep hitting buttons to see if anything makes me actually move. I set my assassin bomb. I could blow myself right on up, I think. It's map mode. That's look mode. So yeah, it looks like I can't actually walk, and that might be a problem. I'll have to figure that one out. Anyways, while we're here, let's end the mission. Oh, I did land properly. Ha! Huh. As long as you're close enough to your base, if you abort the mission, you can land for free. You get a little less points. But, uh... Human successfully completed the mission. But what if human didn't successfully complete the mission? What if we what if we go back in here real quick and uh say do something stupid. This is, uh... <laughs> Alright. Apparently, uh, putting some bombs directly under your plane gives you some wacky physics. <laughs> oh, man. It's 
tell me to eject because my plane is like wildly screwed. But since human is in fact actually an alien infiltrator, it's time to end this the only way we can. Eventually the plane will fall. I I think. I think it's still going up. <laughs> You know, it doesn't seem to know where it's going. Alright, I think... I think physics has turned back on. Oh god. Rip human died. So you might think that's a bit of a problem for a game like this. Human is dead. But no, you can just bring him back to life. Anytime. And the only thing that gets added in here is a note. If I go into... Oh, crap's my insert key. Do I not have one of those either? Oh, right, there it is. I'm going to go into this. Oh, you can see it anyway, I was a fool. It marks how many times you've resurrected your pilot. So next time, we'll hop over to the other version of this. Ideally, I'll have figured out how to walk on the ground, because that's kind of important. But, uh, next time we'll go back to Atkinsville in the other version and to see if we can finish the missions there. My plan is to take a look at all the theaters, maybe give each mission a stab, and see how it goes. Anyways, later guys.